iCloud Drive is a very interesting addition to OS X. You will find iCloud Drive on the sidebar. And iCloud Drive is not a folder. So if you command click on the title bar, you will see that there is no path for it. The other day, somebody asked me about iCloud Drive and I compared it to something similar to a USB drive or an SD card. I'll give you an example. I've got an SD card. I just plugged in an SD card to my Mac. Let me open up a new finder window. And on the sidebar, you will see here's my card. And from here, I can take photos from the card, out of the card, and for example, put them on my desktop. And then I can eject the card iCloud Drive behaves similar to one of those USB drives or similar to one of those SD cards. Here's one major difference though. Think of iCloud Drive as a folder on your Mac and for that matter on any Mac and on any iOS device. But this is the interesting part. Let me go into this folder for example inside my iCloud Drive and drag the photo. If I was making the analogy of iCloud Drive as a USB drive when I take the photo and drop it into iCloud Drive, you would expect a copy to be put into iCloud Drive. In this case, that doesn't happen. If you see, it's not on the desktop anymore. That's because it has now been moved to iCloud Drive. Or for that matter, it's being moved as I speak. You can see the progress bar. It's taken so long to move the file over for a couple of reasons. One of them is that the file itself is pretty large, 22 megabytes for a photo. And the other reason why it's taking so long to move is because iCloud Drive is actually, as you would expect, it's in the cloud. It's not on my computer, it's somewhere on Apple's servers. And the whole concept of this iCloud Drive is that now, since that file, that photo of the camera that I just put over there, is now accessible to all my iCloud Drive enabled devices. For example, on this other screen that I'm going to switch over, I am logged in with my same iCloud account, but it's a different Mac altogether. You can see even the resolution is different. And if I go to the same folder that I was on a minute ago, which is the preview folder, you will see that the photo is there now. So now I get access to that photo. I can go and edit that photo from this other Mac. But not only that, let me switch over to my iPhone, which is running iOS 8. If I switch over to my iPhone, which is this screen on the right, let me just close this window to get focus and pay attention to my phone and I go to an application, for example, iMovie, which uses iCloud Drive, if I go to my media browser, you will find that I can browse through my iCloud Drive. If I tap on it, it's now gonna go and browse the contents of my iCloud Drive account. And the folders that you see here are very much the same folders that we were seeing right on the Finder for my iCloud Drive. Now, because I'm running iMovie, unfortunately, I cannot go inside of the preview folder to see the contents of that folder. So if I tap the iMovie folder, and for that matter, on my Mac, I'm gonna take that photo from here and drop it in the iMovie folder. So the photo is now in the iMovie folder, and on my phone, I expect that photo to show up eventually. The photo is starting to show up, but unfortunately it won't be able to be fully accessible because iMovie on iOS, unfortunately, is not able to open up raw photo files. But it shows you that this iCloud Drive is this shared folder that is accessible to all of your devices as long as they are using the same iCloud account. For iCloud Drive to work, you must go into the system preferences for iCloud and enable iCloud Drive. For that matter on the phone, let me go into the settings for the phone. Tap the settings application. And under iCloud, as you can see, iCloud Drive is enabled. Let me go back and show you that it is the same iCloud Drive account. So if I go back to my system preferences on the Mac, just move it to the left, you can see that it's my OS X trainer account on both devices.